uh, the headline consumer CPI for the month of April came in uh, at a 12-month rate of only 2.3%. Uh, that was below the estimate of 2.4%. And what I love, this was the lowest reading since February of 2021. I mean, that, that was a phenomenal number. I was so happy to see that. I hope the Fed saw it. Yeah, and I mean, uh, we'll, we'll see what the PCE looks like later this month. Uh, my guess is that should be right around that 2% level. And again, they look more at the core, uh, which core CPI was a little bit higher than the headline. Uh, core, again, excludes food and energy, and that came in at 2.8%, which didn't match expectations and was in line with March's reading. So we didn't see that pullback I was hoping for. But again, at 2.8%. It's not that 2% level, but also, is it really that problematic? I, I, I don't think so. You know, and somebody said a long time to me, which makes sense. They go, I don't understand why they take out food and energy because they're <laughs> two important yeah. things. The reason why they do take them out because so, so volatile, which energy was a major help in the headline as it fell 3.7% compared to last year uh, with gasoline. Uh, that was down, and, and we've seen gas prices fall, except for here in California, uh, <laughs> fall by 11.8% over the past year. That's a huge decline. I mean, that really helps out your pocketbook. You know, I, we were doing some reading and we did some posts on this. And I'm like, yeah, this is great. And I hadn't been to the gas station in a little bit. And by a little bit, I think it was like a week and a half or two weeks. And I wanted to go fill up, and I was like, I thought gasoline was down. <laughs> so if you're watching this in Texas, you know, it gives a little sympathy here because it's, it's, it's no fun in terms of the gas prices. But back to the inflation report, one thing that, you know, is obvious is the, the tariffs weren't really part of this April CPI. And again, even though we are starting to get some negotiations working through, I mean, you still have a 10% baseline. Again, we talk about the 30% tariff. So there are economists that are worried about future months. And, and there's one gentleman, his name is Joseph Gagnon from the Peterson Institute for International Economics. And he said he believes a 10% average tariff rate would add as much as one percentage point to the CPI after about six to nine months. And I, I, I I think that when we look at this, I think you will see, obviously, CPI increase because you have an increase in prices. Well, somebody's going to pay for it. But we've talked about this a lot. It's not just the consumer that is going to absorb the full right. tariff. <clears throat> yeah. And, and that's the thing that we try to explain to people. It's not just a consumer. You've got the manufacturer. You've got the, the distributor. You've got the market. I mean, you've got so many hands involved in that. If they all take a little bit off the table, maybe the consumer gets hit with not a 10% increase maybe a 1% increase. And actually, Walmart, they reported earnings, and I know that they said that they were raising prices on some items.